eating flowers isn't new. If you've enjoyed broccoli or cauliflower recently, you've eaten flowers. While we don't normally consider flowers to be food, Erin Style from Ryman Gardens in Ames, Iowa is going to share with us some colorful blossoms that can be a creative and innovative ingredient in the kitchen. I have here in front of me a few examples of common flowers that you might have in your own garden that you could potentially use in the kitchen. And they can be used for things like flavoring butters and oils, vinegars, even vodka. They're great in salads to add color and a mild flavor. They're great in desserts. And even simple things like adding a few chopped up flower petals to pancakes can be a lot of fun to introduce a different flavor as well as a fun color. One of the easiest and best ones to start with is the daylily. The petals of daylily are often used, uh, especially in Asian cuisine, and dried daylily petals are a common addition to hot and sour soup. They have a kind of leafy or green, mild flavor that is slightly sweet. They vary a lot in their color, and typically the ones that are yellow and orange taste a little bit better than the ones that are red. Another common plant that you can get out of your garden is the rose. And roses like this one are great. It has a very perfumey smell, and just like with the daylilies, they vary a little bit in flavor depending on the cultivar. Typically, the older cultivars tend to taste a little bit better than the newer varieties. When you use the petals of rose, the other thing you want to keep in mind is that this little base here tends to be kind of bitter, so removing that white base of the petal can really improve the flavor when you add it to various dishes like desserts or salads. These are really great for infusing things too. The last of the big three I want to talk about are nasturtiums, and this one tastes very different than daylilies or roses. It has a really bright, spicy, almost peppery flavor. Uh, they come in really bright colors too. This orange is very common, but you can get it in yellow and red, and this really easy to grow annual. You can use the leaves, but the flowers are a lot more fun to include in dishes like salads, uh, both green and fruit salads. It can be a lot of fun. Uh, it pairs really well with salmon and other meats because of that spicy, peppery flavor, and of course adds a lot of color too. Pansies are another great flower that is often in our gardens at home that can be used in recipes. These really bright, colorful flowers have a very mild, kind of green or grassy flavor, and of course brighten up any dessert or salad that you might pair them with. Many of us are growing squash in our garden, and not only are the squash edible, but so are their flowers. And the flowers of any summer or winter squash can be used stuffed with cheese, goat cheese, or other things. And zucchini is probably the one that's most commonly used, mostly because it helps you control how much zucchini you get, too, by picking the flowers. You can also use the flowers for many of the herbs that are growing in your garden. Herbs like mint, sage, and chives all have really colorful flowers that taste like mild versions of their leaves. And so using them in uh, different soups or salads or other things can really brighten up the dish as well as add a lot of fun to them. As you go out in your garden and you use these flowers, keep in mind that not every flower is edible. And even those flowers that are on plants that we eat other parts of may not be good to consume. So for example, the potato is of course edible, but the little blue flower that forms on a potato plant would probably make you feel very sick. So make sure that you know your flowers and you can really enjoy them in your kitchen that way. You don't want to use chemicals on flowers that you plan to eat, so make sure you know how your flowers were grown. And it's important to start slow, because some flowers are best enjoyed in small amounts. With a little research, you can have a lot of fun adding the flavor, color, texture, and elegance of edible flowers to your dishes.